to welcome back to Actors Reporter Interviews. Today we have a very special guest. He's Emmy-nominated choreographer, was on So You Think You Can Dance as a judge and a choreographer, and was on America's Best Dance Crew as a judge. Please give it up for Shane Sparks. Hi, Shane. How you doing, Olivia? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. When did you want to become a dancer? That's, that's a hard question because um, when I was younger, my mother had me dancing for people when they would come to visit. And they would come over and they would sit in the living room and they would, my mother would say, come over and dance. So I would just do it. So it wasn't something that I thought like I wanted to do, it was just something that I could do. But it was when I saw movies like um, Breaking and Beach Street back in the early 80s. When I saw those movies, it changed everything about what I felt. Like we were dancing and doing talent shows and we were doing all type of stuff, but when those movies came out, it made it real. You know how sometimes you see somebody do something in a high level, at a high level, and you'd be like, oh my God, I'm just as good as them. I want that, you know? And once I saw that, it became real. And then me and my boys, Chris, Keith, Cold Crush, uh, Rocksteady Crew, Floor Rockers, we all was just like, let's go. And those are the groups that I was in. And after that, it was full fledged, like nothing could stop us after that. I hear that you went to Cincinnati this weekend. Yes. How that, was that? Look, I'm gonna tell you this. Um, I haven't been to Cincinnati in a while. Last time I went back, my mother had passed away. So when I saw everybody, it was more like, um, it was sad, you know? Mm -hmm. This time when I went, it was for a group that I used to be in called Cold Premier. This was actually a singing group that I was in. And Cold Premier was like, we were dancers, the other guys were singers. We came together, it was me, Tony Robinson, James Watson, Marcus Stokes, Chris Tyler. And another guy came in, Donald Varner, later on after Chris left. But so when I went to Cincinnati, um, a lot of people been requesting us and wondering what happened to us. Because when I came to LA for the first time and the group was like doing movies, TV shows, we was doing all type of stuff. We did a movie called Class Act, which was on yesterday. It's so funny, it was on yesterday. And then last night, I was watching it last night, I was about to record it, but whatever. But it's called Class Act. But that group came out here to do their thing. But you know how that goes. The groups do their thing. Yeah. Start People start leaving, you break up, dumb stuff happen, and everybody went home except for me. So, you know, so I stayed out here and pursued dance. But so when I went to Cincinnati, they was like, yo, we need to do this documentary. Everybody's looking for this documentary. So we shot some, some beautiful shots. Everybody came except for Chris Tyler, but he was busy. He has his own dance company going on over in Nashville. Okay. So that's what I went for. That was the good side of it. And then I went to Chicago also and did an interview with this company called 88.9 FM. And, um, yeah, sh shout out to my boy Mel. Um, the sad part about it was um, I was I got time to spend with my sister, and I swear after 20 years of going back and forth, I never ever spent time with them. Like I would go there and we would eat, and we would do little stuff like that, but I never spent time with her. This time I stayed at her house. So it was me, my nephew, my three nieces, and my bu and my sister Buffy. And she told me the story, man, that it's, it, it, it put a fire up under me because like, you know, you'd be doing stuff for your family, but when you really go back home and see the struggle of what's really going on, it makes you just like, and do you see how you live out here? And it's really crazy. It's really crazy. So um, I don't want to go too deep in it, but she told me it was one time when their water was off for 18 days. And she wow. said, yeah, 18 days. Think about that. And she said, Shane, I will go to Eden Park. I will go up there. The kids didn't know this. And there was a fountain up there that you could push his handle and she would fill up gallons of water, like four gallons of water, every night for 18 days. The kids didn't know about this. She would come home, give, warm up the water, wash him up, send him to school every single day. And I pictured, I remember one day when I didn't have water and it was like the worst day of my life. So I don't want to get too into it because it hurts my feelings, but she was like, there was a cop that caught her one night and really gave her a bad time. And she was just like, lady, my kids, are, um, we have no water. I'm just trying to get them to school in the morning time with some hot water and so they could shower. And the lady was like, I don't care, you're stealing. You need to get away, you need to do this. Like, get your car out here before I take you to jail. And my sister was a hot head. <laughs> she is a hot head. And I think if that girl knew who my sister was, she would have been a little nicer. But because she was a cop, my sister had to, you know, hold herself together. Yeah. But um, yeah, so it was a good, situ it was a good, a good week and a kind of crazy week for me, but it just put another fire up under me. So I'm ready to go now. Of course. So what's your best memory of being in Cincinnati? Brrr, my best memory of being in Cincinnati, um, oh God. Okay, one of my best memories is I was going to dinner with Renee, which is my older sister. And when we got to dinner, we was talking to my, her niece, my niece called. She's like, 
where y'all at? I was like, we at La Rosa's. And she came over there and she sat and they looked so much alike. Like, yeah. her name is Tish. She looked so much like my sister. It's oh. not even funny. So that's the first time I've actually seen them sitting together in so many years. And I just, I took some video of them. I Snapchat it and all this crazy stuff on my Instagram. It was so beautiful. But it's not a big deal to y'all, but it is to me. <clears throat> But she paid, my niece paid for it. Oh. <laughs> she was like, I got y'all. She pulled out her little money. I was like, dear. Oh. So it was tight though. But like little, little stuff like that, yeah. you know, 